Hi guys, I'm excited to bring you this video today. It is going to be a freezer meal prep video. I was preparing for the upcoming baby, of course, and I've been working really hard trying to get some things put in the freezer. Um, just some easy dinners and whatnot to be able to kind of, you know, help myself out in the future. So. Before I get into the video, I want to mention that Ibotta is sponsoring today's video and I'm grateful for that. Um, I will go into that in a little bit, but yesterday I spent a good portion of the afternoon, a couple hours maybe combined, uh, doing some things and also I think I did some on another day. I'm just kind of splitting it up a little bit, but um, I wanted to give you guys some ideas. This can also be done at any point in time, not just when you're pregnant, obviously. Um, and I will link all of the recipes that I can down below. Uh, most of them, I don't have like a ton of like actual whole meals. It's more like I have like two crock pot things. I'll link those recipes if I can. Some of it's just like a dump and go style. And then I have some other things like taco meat. And I made some extra filling from chicken pot pie that I made the other night. Put that in the freezer. Just some things like that to kind of help me down the road, I guess. So I hope this video helps you out, gives you guys some new ideas and that sort of thing. So if you're new, consider subscribing. I am currently around um, 36 weeks, I think, pregnant. I'm not sure at what point the video will be going up. I think I might be closer to 37 or 38. So it's drawing to a close and I am so excited and I'm just really ready. I'm definitely, Slow it down, you guys. So before I get into the video any further, I wanted to quickly tell you about Ibotta. I know a lot of you probably know what Ibotta is, and I've had the Ibotta app for a long time, so I am privileged to work with them in today's video. Um, but it is a free app that you can download on your phone, and you can save money. They You upload your receipts, and it's like a cash back type of thing. You can redeem it for PayPal, you can use gift cards. A lot of times they'll have like a, a dollar off like any grocery receipt or um, any grocery item type of thing. You can even use them at places like Aldi. So I actually went to Walmart this morning, got a couple extra things, um, but I will go ahead and show you kind of how it works. I'm just here on my phone on the app and I checked a couple of them. So I have some cereal and I got some limes. Once you've checked all the offers that you bought or that you're wanting to get, you then click redeem and I'm going to Walmart. It says scan the QR code and then it just sends the receipt to them and that's it. It's just an easy way to be able to save some money while you're out doing shopping and that sort of thing. Thank you to Ibotta for sponsoring today's video and definitely go check out the link in the description box. If you have any questions, let me know and feel free to download that and get the extra $20 that they give you just upon signing up. So that is really cool. All right, I am gonna get into the video and I'll try to just take you all along as I do what I'm doing and that kind of thing. So my first thing here for you guys is a chicken pot pie. I decided to make some for dinner one night and I just made extra filling to be able to put that in the fridge. I decided to not put the whole pie together. I figured I can always buy pie crust later and just make it um, but basically I just cooked some chicken and there is a recipe on Pinterest that I found so I'm gonna go ahead and link like my recipes or even my Pinterest freezer menu thing that I was kind of using for these and that way you can just find them there um, if that doesn't work I'll just try and link the recipes but it's this recipe is super simple melting the butter putting onions in and then some cream of chicken soup and after you're done with that you add in some like frozen vegetables and stuff and then you just bake it and that's all there's to it. The Pillsbury pie crust worked out really well. I think I'm going to use those some more. Um, just made it super easy and yeah it was delicious. The boys actually approved. Um, I, they weren't really sure about it <laughs> to begin with but uh, they did actually like it pretty well so I was happy about that but yeah I'll go ahead and try to kind of comment on the different things that I'm making
so these bag stands that I'm using in the video are a link down below in my Amazon store uh, they're very inexpensive I'd gotten a two-pack um, they just it's not like it's necessary to do it or to buy them but it definitely does make things easier especially if you'd be making quite a bit of like freezer style meals so I'll have my link down below it's just gonna be my Amazon storefront if you're curious and I have a lot of different things linked in their products that I have or love um, that kind of thing that I have organized into categories so definitely check that out if you're looking for things I'm trying to add more to it I kind of slacked off for a while but yeah in case you want to go check that out it is down below in the description box so I personally loved the pot pie. It was like such a warm comfort meal type of thing and I don't know something about the crust I think that's like my favorite part of it is just so so good. All right moving on to the next one this is gonna be a freezer meal and I also have it linked in my Pinterest recipe uh, board for freezer meals. This is using country style ribs so I'll just kind of let you guys watch and if you want the recipe it will be linked. So I've gotten questions on where I get my choppers, like this one in particular. It is from Pampered Chef. I had a bridal shower that was Pampered Chef, so I was able to get a bunch of uh, products gifted, and that was super helpful. But I also found them on Amazon, some of my stuff, so that will also be in my storefront if you're curious. But as far as this recipe, it is just a dump and go style crock pot thing, so I think you just cook it on low for five to six hours and then you can serve it with rice or whatever else you want. I've actually never tried it, so I really don't know how it's gonna be, but I decided it looked easy and it was something different. I don't know if I've ever used country style ribs before, but the next thing is just some taco meat. I often will make just tacos, like the hamburger with taco seasoning and then some sour cream and cheese and burritos if I don't know what else to make <laughs> on a weeknight that's something that is like a go-to for me so I decided I'll just fry some hamburger with onions and some taco seasoning and stuff and then just freeze a couple bags of it that way it's ready to go it doesn't take long to do it but you know how it goes sometimes you don't have things ready or whatever and this could just be something really easy and fast so that's what I'm doing here and I was also cooking some chicken to do uh, chicken taquitos. I saw this on Pinterest so that'll be linked um, but basically you just cut up some cilantro and you have some cream cheese uh, I think some seasonings I added some enchilada sauce to it I believe just to kind of add a little bit extra flavor and then you just roll them up I've seen other people do this too uh, Doug's wife here on YouTube she has a channel and she did that while she was prepping for baby as well. 
that kind of gave me the idea and I was like, oh, hey, I could try that. I've never done them myself. It's sort of like enchiladas, I guess, but I somehow did not quite uh, acquire the knack of rolling them really thin, but um, yeah, I think it'll work okay. Well, hopefully. I've never done this before, so um, it was kind of a trial and error thing, but I thought it could be easy, easy to just get out of the freezer and uh, heat them up a little bit. So, yeah, this was something super easy as well. And the recipe said to flash freeze them for a little bit before you put them in bags. That way they're kind of hard and don't get all squished up. So I put them on a freezer uh, or a tray and put them in the freezer for a little bit. And then I put them in freezer Ziploc bags. My next recipe is something that I actually make quite a lot and it is super duper easy and I decided to make at least one batch of it but usually I'll just do this in the crock pot and it's like the easiest soup around I'm serious um, but you have chicken you have black beans pinto beans corn and this can really vary to what you like it's not like I always have these on hand so you know just some beans some corn some taco seasoning and salsa or you could do uh, like diced tomatoes and just add some extra seasonings whatever you really want and then basically all you do is throw it in the crock pot and it cooks and it's so yummy the way we usually like to eat it then is um, kind of a taco style you would add like some sour cream some tortilla chips and shredded cheese to it and it's super easy and yummy the other thing I did was cook some rice to put that in the freezer just to have on hand. But these are the meals or freezer stuff that I ended up with. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope it gave you guys some motivation. And I know that I am not a good planner and I think this will help me out a lot. Even though I was tired by the end. Um, I just I just know I'm gonna be thankful for it so I hope you all enjoyed it and I will try to keep putting some videos out for you guys I may have some news in the future about something new but in the meantime I hope you all have a very blessed Christmas and I will be seeing you in my next video bye guys <laughs>